What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can take apart your uh, GPU. This one specifically is the Intel Arc A750. So I'm actually gonna be painting this GPU, but I figured this is a perfect time to do a tutorial of how to repaste it. So a few things you'll need right off the bat is a little tool set. This one I got from Walmart. You will need some thermal pads. Just got these from Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description. It's a variety pack with different uh, thicknesses. Of course, you're gonna need some thermal paste, rubbing alcohol, I have 91%. You can use the 70 or whatever it is. Some paper towels, and of course, some Q-tips. Uh, so let's get to opening this thing up. I know we have to pry this back cover off. We'll try to do that without damaging it in any way. I don't really have a proper pry tool, but we'll try it with a few different things that I do have. Found this from my old phone repair days, so I'm gonna try this. It's really thin, so it should be able to get underneath here and get this glue. I'll have a link to this tool in the uh, description because it works perfectly for this. All right, that popped off. There's a little bit of extra glue right here, which we'll have to remove and I guess replace probably double-sided tape of some kind. Once you're at this stage, we're gonna go ahead and start taking out all of these screws. All right, so it looks like in this tool set, it's a T6. So I'm gonna start with this. There's like a little bracket right here. And what I like to do is put the screws in the same way that I took them out. So I'll start right here. And once I take this one out, it'll go here and then so on and so forth. Plus it's a good idea to always take pictures so you remember where everything goes. I'm gonna loosen these four in a cross pattern. This thing comes off. We got that taken off the block. There's some more screws on this side now so we can separate everything. Although if you were just repasting this, I know there's some more underneath here and I would recommend doing them if you're, if you're doing this like a year or two after you got it because the pads and stuff will dry out but it's not 100% necessary. Uh, if all you're doing is repasting, then go ahead and replace the pads right here and the paste right here, clean it off. disconnect this I believe this for the art uh, the lighting on the side here for the Intel arc so there's that bracket it just fell off it was up here that I was talking about earlier see that also has a little pad on it and I was able to separate this piece and then go ahead and take off all of these screws right here. It's the same size bit. Remove this, oh wait, there's one right here, a little sneaky one. There is one more right here that I didn't recognize. There you go. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and painted everything. If you wanna see the painting video, I'll have a link down in the description if you're interested. Anyways, so now we need to make sure that we're using the same thickness. So for this, you need some scissors to cut this into the same you know, width and length. So let's start with this one here. As you can see, there's a little notch there, so we're gonna to have to notch that out. Now that we got that piece, we're gonna go ahead and clean this off. So 
So just go ahead and clean it off like that. We're gonna need to get a little paper towel, little bit of alcohol, and just clean that surface just like that. Just sort of run the alcohol along and then flip it to the dry side and give it a little And now I need to make this little notch right here. To make that notch, it would be a lot easier to take this plastic off. Just give it a little slice. And again, don't worry about it being 100% perfect, but there you go. And now we're gonna repeat those steps on all the pieces. Take this, make your cuts. Measure it out. Now clean off the old stuff. I like to take that little plastic cover thing off as I go along just so I don't forget them on later. Alright, so there it is. I did this piece in two pieces because I had an extra little piece laying around. But yeah, that's what it looks like with some new pads on. Alright, we're going to move on to this. So these two, I'm going to use the thicker pad. We do have to make a hole in this one. So I do have this Phillips head right here. I think I'm just gonna find the hole and puncture it through. There you go. All right, now we gotta do this and then we'll do this little one back here. There's the completed um, mid frame and we are gonna have to clean this residue off back here. Put that to the side and then let's do this little one all right now that we got all that done final thing to do is clean off any residue that you see from the old thermal pads same method paper towel and alcohol and of course don't forget to clean the residue of the old thermal paste as you can see this stuff is really 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 stuck on there gotta carefully scrape it off with this If there's any lint, try to get it all off. All right, that's pretty clean. You can also use some Q-tips for the finer details. All right, now we can start assembling. So we're gonna start with this mid-frame. This has to go onto the mid-frame first with these little prong things facing down and the Intel Arc logo facing you. I'm gonna put this on first. All right, we got this thing on, all the screws in. There's one that goes right over here and that holds this PCB in place. And then there's one more. This one has like a rounded head. All these are flat, but this one's more uh, round. This one goes right here in this corner. Now we're gonna need to put this piece on. This one goes right there. And I put the screws in a specific order. So I know these two are the second to last, but they go on from the other side. So I'm gonna flip this and it's these two holes right here. Just gotta make sure it aligns with the holes on this side. It does, don't screw it in fully. Now start tightening them slightly on both sides. And just go back and forth until they're fully tight and that way it gets even pressure along the thermal pad now we can put this back plate back on and that just sits right there now we just gotta flip this over and now i can proceed putting all the rest of the screws in back plate is back on all right now we're ready to go ahead and put this heatsink back together or back on the pcb so let's go ahead and connect this little rgb thing right in there and then we're gonna need to connect this one to this side 
and now we cannot forget thermal paste. So I'm using MX4. You can use whatever you want. I'm actually gonna put an X, but that way when it when I compress them together, it'll spread nicely. You can do it however you want. You can put two dots. All right, just double checking, make sure I did not miss anything here. So now it's ready to get put back together. So make sure you align it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put this plate back on. And then of course you need these little spring thingies, whatever. All right. Don't tighten them fully, just give them a few turns as you put them in and go in a cross pattern. Again, we're making sure that this is all seated properly. Don't want to put too much pressure on one corner because then it might not seat properly. Keep going in a cross pattern until it is, you don't have to over tighten these. Perfect. That's good. And we can move on and put the rest of the screws in. So we can start with these far out ones right here. And now once you get this back plate back on, then you're done. This does need new double-sided tape, but I don't have any on me right now. And that's it. That's all I got for you in this video. If this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And uh, of course, if you like content like this, feel free to subscribe. It is always free. Now with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.